Hey guys, it's Livia here. Happy full moon in Gemini. I just wanted to pop on here and firstly say I hope that you're all safe and well. And secondly, thank you so much for being here and to all the new subscribers. I know I've been pretty quiet over the year. Obviously, it's been pretty mad for everybody. Um, I nearly lost my dad to COVID in March, so that was very stressful. Um, this is the first year since 2014 that I haven't had any gigs, so I've had to move my entire music business online and uh, try and fathom out all those, all, all there is to that. Um, so the good news is I have had time to sit and look at six years worth of footage of performing and create some lyric videos for the songs that I already have and I'm currently working on my new album. So there will be new music next year and as I say some lyric videos for songs that I already have off my album Journey of an Empath which I released in 2015. Um, what else, what else? Yeah I realised I actually haven't uploaded a lot of songs from that album either so I'm gonna I'm gonna get better at this guys I promise bear with um, and I really wanted to address something else with you as well that I know a lot of you have seen because of the lovely comments that you've left me um, and that is that yes it was me and my band on X Factor in 2018 um, they, this is a very long story which I think will have to be in a different video but um, basically what was televised was a completely false edit our audition wasn't stopped it was just edited to look that way. We actually performed the whole of my song Natural High and Dance With Fire at the end. Um, apparently this is something they've been doing to a lot of people over a, lot of, a, a number of years. Um, I feel like we, we just turned up at the tail end of a storm that's been raging for a long time. Um, I'm actually okay. Um, you know, I stopped engaging with bullies a long time ago. I think, you know, the mind boggles as to why they're doing this to people. Um, if you want to hear um, the sort of depth that they've gone to destroying people's lives you can check out a lady called Zoe Alexander who has come forward with her story recently um, and she goes into great detail about what they did to her. Um, it seems like you know the elementals and I were just the last in a long line of, of complete nonsense that they've been doing. Personally I, you know it's not nice to have been treated that way but I'm Kind of more angry on behalf of my dancers who have been made to look ridiculous when they're actually incredibly talented and some of the bravest people you will ever meet. All their clips were kind of put out of order so it looks like they're doing really random stuff, it's just complete nonsense. Um, you know they, they perform with fire, they do all kinds of stuff for me, they, they do all of this around you know their kids and their jobs and their lives and they're just an amazing bunch of people so it's really really shitty that this was done. Um, and the Elementals is something I created uh, with one of the dancers uh, called Sarah, who's a fire breather. And we created it, she's, she's got type 1 diabetes. And we kind of created it to show that, you know, even if you've had, got serious physical illness or have mental health issues like I've had, you know, you can still achieve your dreams and you can still perform and you can still have fun. And X Factor knew all of that, that that was behind my band. And they still, you know, decided to humiliate vulnerable people. It hasn't stopped me, it hasn't stopped the band, we carry on always, you know, because so many of the people in my band have very serious health issues, we're used to kind of carrying on despite crap, so this, this sort of thing doesn't bother us in the same way that it might if someone was just starting out, but we do feel, you know, collectively that it's just a really disgusting thing that's been going on. I couldn't talk to you about it until now because last year I gave evidence in an inquiry into reality TV that was set up in the wake of the suicide of the Jeremy Carl contestant. I felt that was a really important thing to do um, after what I witnessed as both a musician and someone who's had mental health issues. I was just astounded that this has been carried on and I felt that that was something you know, it was important that I kind of gave my evidence in that. So I couldn't talk publicly about it, but um, I have wanted to talk to you guys about it and I really appreciate the lovely messages and comments that you've been sending me. Um, so I really hope you guys are safe and well and I will be in touch soon. There is new stuff coming, new music next year and uh, thank you once again. Lots of love and blessed be.